morning, everybody. Let's make sure this is high enough. So hi, my name is John Lahan. I work at Juniper Networks. Um, I wanted to thank GoGo6 for giving Juniper the opportunity to participate this week. I have Bruce on my speed dial on my phone. He's given me so much logistic help and everything. So uh, thanks to the whole team, Michael as well, and the guys down the back that helped me cart up equipment and everything. So um, I wanted to firstly apologize to the Texas guys for San Francisco beating you in the baseball. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it was a good World Series. Big week this week in California. So um, I just wanted to recap what uh, Juniper did this week. We started on Tuesday, it seems a long time ago. We, we talked about the workshop. We, Anjana from our engineering team, provided an overview of 6RD and DS Lite. And then we had Dave Ward, our CTO from Infra, Infrastructure Products Group yesterday, uh, talk about, you know, clearly V4, the depletion of V4 is happening, but we see the vision for Juniper is that we see a coexistence of um, both V4, Freudian slip there. <laughs> uh, V4 and V6 uh, coexisting. Uh, Alan came down then afterwards and uh, talked about uh, the transition and interoperability of both V4 and V6 and um, the home CPEs. Uh, on the question of the home CPEs, a lot of people have asked me, can we get that software, it's open source software that we uh, flashed on the Netgear. Um, we haven't issued it yet on our, on our site at Juniper, but um, um, if anyone wants that, just uh, contact either me or, or any of the guys that were here this week. And if you, uh, you can contact us through Breeze as well. So uh, Juniper, We've been leaders in V6 um, ever since 2001. We've supported V6 in hardware in all our products. Um, and you know we focus on the core edge and access broadband, but we're definitely a preferred vendor. And we, f we really feel strongly that we're leading in the, the V6 environment um, uh, when we talk about performance and scalability for V6. A lot of who's who of customers here that are using our products today. So on Tuesday, we demonstrated DSL and 6RD. So of course, DSL allows uh, ISPs, service providers, to move to a V6 network and at the same time deal with the V4 address depletion. So we spent a lot of time talking about that. And we wanted, to know, wanted everyone to know that it's supported on all Junos-based platforms today. So DSL is supported on all our platforms. Similarly, with 6RD, um, again, supported on all our Junos platforms today in hardware. So some um, enhancements coming next year. And I kind of had different, they're coming in different stages and months, but I just kind of punched them all in in one page. Uh, and, um, and these will come throughout the year next year with our various releases. But, um, for DS Lite, in calendar year 12 or 11, we'll have hair pinning, layer 3 VPN, and 6PE with DS Lite, port binding, rate limit detection, port scanning, and um, these other items here. So you can look forward to those next year. Similarly, with 6RD, um, we're increasing the scalability. Um, we're going to have multiple service cards in a, in a box, so uh, that in, in, uh, increases high availability as well. So this is just a, a quick snapshot of the, the various features that are coming next year. But as we focus on our, on our products, you're going to see a lot of all of the V6 features coming in to all our products on Juno software. So this is my last slide. I didn't want to go into too much marketing. But we just created this uh, site, juniper.net v6. So everything we've done here this week, all our products, what RSCs we support, what RSCs we plan to support are coming, um, will be on this site for easy access. It's so one central site for everybody. 
And then we have just released a, a new PDF kind of book on, on IPv6 for operations staff. So that's available free at this site here, a PDF file. You can download it to your iPads or your Kindles or whatever. So um, it's, it's quite a good book. I was reading that this week. Um, and it gives you all the basics to configure v6. So finally, I just wanted to thank everybody here. Uh, we had a lot of fun this week. Um, um, got to know a lot of things, like we need to have v6 uh, enabled on our Juniper home site. So we look out for that soon. <laughs> thank you. I learned that over beer last night. So um, you can look out for that soon. And I understand I'm going to hear more about it today at 4 o'clock. So thanks, everybody. I hope everyone's enjoying this and uh, uh, appreciate it.